getting people to participate is always a roadblock to making a learning circle happen because people are scared to ask questions. People, um, people have a tough time letting go of, of the learning format that they know. But um, making sure that they're as comfortable as possible to talk to you one on one and making sure you have a relationship with your learners, like introductions are really important on the first day, making sure that you all know who each other are. And then in turn, they'll feel more comfortable to ask questions and be a part of the learning circle. Well, I tried at the very beginning to establish a relationship with the people in the group. So I took the emails and sent a personal email that was an introduction of myself to tell them about the course, what a learning circle was, to kind of set up the expectations and invite their questions before we ever got started. And I think that that made them feel a little more comfortable in coming into this um, new environment. Um, I think that we gave plenty of time for people to be able to share their thoughts and uh, contribute the ideas. So we kind of went at a slow pace. And while we had initially planned to make sure everyone had their own laptop to do it simultaneously, what really worked better for this group was to kind of turn it into a shared experience up. So we projected everything up on a screen. We read aloud together. Whenever there was a quiz question, we would talk about it and come up with a group answer. And I think it really became um, a group activity that I think people look forward to each week. Having done a number of small group um, and larger group programs, um, sometimes giving that individual a little bit of one-on-one -on -one attention beforehand or after the program and actually knowing who your participants are, not just treating them as if they're somebody who's coming into your facility to partake of a program, but treating them as if they are someone that you want to know better and that will engage with the material at the level that they're comfortable engaging. And if you know somebody might just be a listener, it's not because they're disengaged, but that is just the way that they learn or they might have something very salient to say, but they won't say it in front of the entire group. You might reserve um, some time afterwards to contact them by email or um, a different way. Um, we all use telephones in very different ways than before, so having maybe um, a discussion board afterwards or having um, a group chat of some sort through uh, Facebook or WhatsApp. or There are different ways that people can express themselves without it being verbal constantly.